how do we get uh, genetic ratios? Well, we'll start with the ass uh, assumption that we get two copies of each gene, one from our fathers and one from our mothers. The second thing that we need to know is that frequently one version can dominate another. As in uh, Mendel's experiments, if you have a copy of a round uh, gene uh, for a P and a wrinkled P gene, the, uh, you, the P will be round. It will not be halfway in between. Or an equivalent would be that if you have a copy of a black hair gene and a red hair gene, your hair uh, color will be black, not uh, reddish, a uh, very dark red. We use the symbolism for this as uh, a, a capital letter for the dominant form and a recessive uh, a, a form is marked as a lowercase letter. Now we will also make a further assumption, and that is that we have two pure breeding individuals who do not have uh, mixtures of the genes. One might take, say, the black-haired people uh, of uh, a considerable part of the world as having only black-haired genes. And now we'll take a red-haired gene as the equivalent because you can only have red hair if you have two copies of the red hair gene. Let me illustrate that in the next slide. So you start with two pure breed breeding plants. It's easier to do with peas. One pure is a pure breeding uh, round pea form and the other is a pure breeding uh, wrinkled form or uh, lowercase r. You cross them. All of the young will have be a combination with one round characteristic, capital R, and one wrinkled characteristic, uh, lowercase r. Uh, and, uh, uh, however, they will all be round since the round characteristic is dominant. Now the important thing is that each gamete can combine randomly with either gamete from the other parent. So you can get four possible combinations, round with uh, plus round, round plus wrinkled, wrinkled plus round, and wrinkled plus wrinkled. It's <coughs> more dynamically illustrated in the next slide. Let's do it with hair color. We'll assume that the grandparents, each grandparent, one came from the part of the world where there are only black-haired people, so this parent is pure breeding, and the other grandparent is red-haired, uh, which you can get only if you have two copies of the red hair. So their children, the parents in this situation, are black-haired, since they carry the black gene, which is dominant over the red gene, uh, basically what it amounts to is the ability to synthesize the black pigment from the red pigment. And now each of them, since they carry both copies of the gene, can produce equal cop numbers of sperm and eggs, one of which carries the black char hair characteristic and the other of which carries the red hair ca characteristic. Let's see how they combine. So black sperm and black egg produce black, black sperm and red egg produce black, red sperm and black egg produce black, and only red sperm and red egg produce red. Uh, <clears throat> thus, we get a three to one ratio. This and other adventures can be found in The Joy of Science by Richard A. Lockshan, published by Springer.